Okay, today I'm going to show you um, a product that we build here in New Jersey, uh, New York area. This is a, a, a high and low temperature alarm. It will basically show you um, uh, if you have a door open or any malfunction with your refrigerator. It is totally GSM, totally cellular communication, so you don't need Wi-Fi, you don't need uh, router, you don't need uh, computer um, for this to run. It's run on, uh, it's very lean, it's run on very low voltage, um, and it's got built-in battery. The size of this unit, I'm going to put a pen on it, so you can see how big it is. It's about a pen. This is how it is. It's got an alarm light on it right here. Okay, that's if you have a temperature alarm. And it's got an on-off switch. Okay, so basically how it's work is very simple. Uh, I got a three sensor connected to the unit. Those are waterproof sensor, stainless steel, so you, they're not gonna rust. And uh, they're totally waterproof. I'm gonna take one of the sensor and I'm gonna put it in my cup of coffee right here to demonstrate the way it's working okay so this you're gonna see the temperature rise this one is the hot dog um, temperature take about one cycle to go up and we'll tell you the temperature is high the rest of the sensor is just on the floor there is one on the floor walking freezer 76 temperature is uh, I don't have a walking freezer to put it in it's just on the floor here so you can you're gonna show you the real temperature when you put it in a in a walk-in fridge or refrigerator. Okay, see the hot dog it uh, got warmer. Okay, now uh, automatically uh, you know very in about one minute it should. Uh, it should tell you that you know there is something going on there is some kind of alarm and it will tell you on the screen which one is that uh, you set up the you can set up the a high and low temperature you can also set the time that you want to get sms notification that uh, something is wrong and i'm going to show you on the computer how to do it so uh, i just want to wait for the sms it will take a minute and we see it now this unit can support up to uh, this particular one. It can support up to 16 sensor. The they all connect in a single wire, so you don't have to run many wires. You just run one wire from one refrigerator to another. Each sensor have a ID. Those are digital sensor. So if you have a malfunction, it will tell you which one is the sensor that you have a problem. Okay, I'm waiting for the SMS. Uh, to come, I have a hard time to hold the phone in one hand, take the video and hold the sensor in a cup. But be patient, it will come. Uh, I'm going to show you the configuration page very quickly. Very quickly, um, you can send here yeah, right now. It's sending SMS about uh, the hot dog fridge going, and I just received an SMS right here. Temperature is up, okay. Okay, and you can send it to any phone that can receive SMS. You don't need a smartphone, you can get it in a stupid phone or any uh, Motorola flip phone, and you can read the message on an SMS screen. Uh, you don't need a data plan because uh, you don't run data here. You don't even need good reception. If you have very low reception, it will work. Not like Wi-Fi um, and uh, router. You don't need any Wi-Fi router. You don't need to subscribe to any internet uh, connection. So this can be used in a mobile truck, um, refrigerator truck. It can be used in a kitchen, anywhere in the kitchen. And you can move it around. If you want to use it as a testing equipment, you can move it around. You can put it, let's say a technician want to check a temperature malfunction temperature you can take this unit with him put it in a truck and just move it from one place to another when you do the test so it's going to be used also as a tool okay so 
Now we're going to show you the configuration. Basically, you go to the website from AmericanController.com, you log in, and over here you have an option to disable sensor. Okay, right now I say I have a three sensor connected, so on a drop down, sorry, you can choose each sensor and you can rename it the name you want. I call it walk in fridge, hot dog fridge, and walk in freezer. You can call it whatever name you want. You can call it, I don't know, your name, John, or Paul, whatever. Uh, over here you can choose the sensor. This is our first sensor and you can set up the minimum alarm. That's the lower temperature, the maximum alarm. Okay. And you can set up the delay of SMS. One is one minute, 60 is an hour. Okay. It will wait, then you can do more than 60. And when you're done, you can reset the device, okay, remotely. So the configuration will take effect. Um, I'm gonna rename this one as Bob. Oops, sorry, I have to log in. Okay, the first configuration show you where to send the SMS and the uh, SIM card number. And you can change it if you change SIM card or you if you wanna change it to a different phone to get a SMS, you can uh, do it as well. Uh, you click the continue and you go to the page where you um, can change the parameter. I call it Call it Bob Fridge, and uh, we just can log in and I click a reset. And the name of the refrigerator or the temperature will change in a couple of minutes. You're gonna see that um, it's still hot dog. And you're going to see the, ch the change take effect. Now, I'm not connected to the computer. The wire that you see here is just a wire for the sensor. Okay. Now, you start the initial, you just reset from remote. I reset the, the um, alarm, the APS. APS stands for Alarm Paging System. Um, and this is model 10. That take 16 sensor. Okay. Right now, um, it's go is scan for the sensor and give me ID for each sensor. It's also uh, check the uh, internal device like the modem and all that that you have a reception. Uh, it will tell me if I have a good reception. It will tell me the phone number of the SIM card. It will tell me the signal. You see, I have five out of three one. It's very it's like one line on a on a cellular phone, very low over here. I live in an area that there is no good reception so that's what happened. All right, the size of the unit. You can see the pencil, how big it is. It's not very big and you can mount it on a wall or you can mount it next to the cashier uh, where there is people and they can see the temperature all the time. Uh, look at this like somebody walked into each refrigerator in your restaurant and check the temperature every couple of minutes and let you know if there is any problem. It's a great thing. Save you from uh, food poisoning, a lawsuit, and a lot of uh, problem in the future. And after the uh, Chipotle incident, a lot of restaurant owners concerned about uh, food poisoning and refrigeration malfunctioning. This can also save your... Uh, product in case you have a uh, malfunctioning with the uh, equipment because it can support 16 sensor you can put the sensor on the pipe on a high side pipe leading to the evaporator and you can tell malfunctioning in the condenser outside so the fan quit uh, condenser fan motor because the temperature get high also you can tell 
if you have a problem with the coil freeze by sensing the temperature on the low side uh, going back to the refrigerator and you can uh, sense that the temperature got too low so that means either the coil the evaporator coil is clogged or the fan is not turning on and you can rename the sensor um, in the particular error so technician get the message know exactly what to bring you can bring a fan motor for evaporator or you can bring a fan motor for the condenser or you can bring a cleaning equipment to clean the condenser outside so this also that can be a diagnostic tool if you have a, a mission critical refrigerator that have uh, a lot of food again you can go to americancontroller.com and read more about this um, unit but let's see what's happened i changed it to bob uh what was it bob something fridge okay so we, we have the walk-in freezer now again the temperature is uh because it's sit right ne next to me here if you okay if you put it in uh in a refrigerator it'll show the real temperature this is just a demo uh, here bob fridge you see just took effect okay so you don't have to be next to the device to change the parameter okay so again if you want to learn more about it call me at 212-933-9469 212-933-9469 um, and we more than happy to talk to you about it that's in the u.s um new york area um Call the regular normal hour 9 to 5 and somebody will talk to you about it. We have a tech support available and uh, installation instruction. We also install it in a tri-state area, New York, New Jersey. And uh, it's a great product. It can save a lot of problem and can keep the food uh, in normal temperature all the time. Thank you very much. Give us a call. Thank you. AmericanControl.com